big one obviously is tomorrow, which is what today is all about, which is the Aura Spotlight stream. So that is going to have two of us on there. It's gonna be Tim and I who are gonna be on the stream. Here, this is our like, uh, our B-roll, our, our vlog kit. It's like when we travel and do all that stuff, this sort of, so it's got like a, uh, there's a drone in there, two cameras, all that sort of stuff, so. Okay. And there's our Height Y60 um, fish tank we built with height. So going from there. We're just because we're, we're in the middle of mocking up for the water cooling. So. I'm Brian, I'm on the team uh, for the last two and a half years, and I'm like video director, um, do all the B-roll and the photography, um, taking all the pictures of these PCs and um, doing the thumbs. So right now you're working on this? Yep, so, yep, we're setting up the PC so that we can highlight all the parts that are in it so when somebody sees the thumb they can easily identify like what parts are going to go in the build. So maybe they might, they might be building with the same motherboard and they're interested in you know seeing how it's built in that one so we try to display as many parts as we can to keep keep people interested i want to feel like success for me is like roby tech feels at the center of the tech community and it's like a bridge where we're helping other influencers yeah. become and then we're ma helping them maintain and manage quality so like when companies come and say like say for instance in intel we want to do this thing we don't necessarily want to do it with you but we'd like to do it with you know this kind of person or this kind of person and we have people who are like hey well let's connect you with this and then we'll produce and make the video For those people who, who've known me and been with me a long time, you actually know that I was a game developer for 20 years. So uh, a lot of your favorite Xbox titles, Halo, Fable, uh, Forza, Project Gotham, um, Age of Empires, were all games that I actually had worked on. Um, I actually was a pre-built, like hardcore pre-built guy forever. A friend of mine named Dom Humphrey, um, who was like a big PC DIY guy. And he was like, Roby, we need to get you to build your first PC. Uh, and we built the first PC and I was like, at, at that point in time, I was like, holy cow, this isn't actually as hard as I thought. So um, what happened was is uh, I wanted to build more PCs, but I'm, I'm kind of a cheapskate. So I was like, hey, I do, I, I like, I know we're doing, we had bought this, uh, this platform at the time called uh, Mixer, which I mean, people remember press f in the chat if you uh, if you remember mixer started doing those for charity then from there mixer was totally into it and so we launched a show called power builds where i was building a pc a week um uh on stream with uh my host brenna duffett uh and uh we would build uh basically a pc with a partnership with newegg uh, and then mixer kind of went away and newegg was like you know you're pretty good at this so what if you just did this on your own? So we launched Roby Tech at that point in time. Uh, and then I did, I worked at Microsoft for about another year, finished my 20 years. Um, and then this thing kind of blew up and that's how I then started doing this full time. So this is the uh, Gigabyte Aorus uh, Z690 Aero D. So this is their DDR5 version. Um, this thing, come on dude, this thing is beautiful. We take a look at it. You got PCIe Gen 5, uh, you got DDR5, and just a ridiculously nice looking uh, motherboard. You know, you got a one and a half, I mean, eight pin and four pin EPS connector, uh, plenty of room for M.2 here. Um, limited uh, RGB, which is nice, because it's part of their creator series, which is, which is something I, I also really like. And then the other two, Probably the best part about this, check this out, quality peels. And my audience goes nuts for quality peels. <laughs> uh, 
Because it's so funny, like a lot of times people ask me like, Roby, how do I replicate what it is that you did? And sometimes it's, it's a lot of hard work. I mean, to be honest, hustling. I think the way that, you know, usually my recommendation is to find other people uh, in or around your neighborhood, things like OfferUp where you offer your services to buy PC builds. Some of it's just gonna be an upfront investment of you purchasing like a little bit of equipment that you can practice with. Uh, and then if you wanna get into streaming and making content, you know, Twitch is a great, a great place to go and start building an audience. I mean, again, it was just, it was a lot of doing stuff uh, and spending a lot of my own money at the beginning to kind of figure out how it was gonna be good. And then being super intentional, like in, when I mean intentional, I mean in terms of um, saying, you know, hey, I'm gonna start small, find out if I'm gonna like this. And then once I basically like this, being really, really, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Really, really focused on what other people were doing well. And then from there, beginning replicating and building my own brand and uniqueness out of it, right? So if somebody was gonna go into it, a lot of it is you just gotta, you gotta get in front of a camera and start doing what you're, what I do, uh, and then slowly starting to build stuff if you find out this is something you're gonna do and wanna do long term. It is a lot of energy, it is a lot of work, um, but I definitely feel like it's something that, especially if you're passionate about it, uh, something you can do. I spent a lot of time having a vision for what it is that I wanted the channel to be, what Robitech was gonna be. And the thing is, is that you can't know everything. There are usually people who know more about things than you do. I'm super passionate about PCs, I'm passionate about games, I am passionate about tech. But I am not that passionate about cameras, I'm not that passionate about editing, and there are people who are good at their craft. So when I knew what I wanted to do with Roby Tech, I knew that finding the right teammates was important, right? And so finding people who loved cameras, who made subject matter look good. I had a vision for what I wanted my stuff to look at. I was inspired by people like I Justine and Peter McKinnon, uh, even people like Mark Rober, uh, Linus, of course, and then other tech, big, large tech influencers like Bitwit. So taking all of those things to make an amalgamation and then building out a team composition that I knew could help me execute on that plan. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Justin Roby, AKA Roby Tech, and I am a PC influencer. 